Hey, Kevin, playing pickup sticks? <laughs> Only if you tip them over and drop them. <laughs> and then you pick up a lot of them. Uh, question I got the other day was you know, from a new TIG welder and he said, hey Kevin, what the heck is a filler rod and why do I need them? What do I use them for? Well, from a beginner, I guess that's a good question. So filler rod, uh, it's just basically like a coat hanger, only not quite as big in diameter and it doesn't have that pesky paper on it. But filler rod is what you're going to use when you're TIG welding and you're actually sitting there working along your joint and you're melting your two base metals together and you're going to be dipping this filler rod in to that puddle at the same time just to add a little more metal so you have you know, so you have the, the right amount of fill in there so basically it all comes out flat again or you know, your weld is just a little bit raised so you got enough metal there to help hold both of those pieces together so it comes in all different flavors, all different varieties. You know, the, the copper colored ones here, these are, I gotta check, ER70S-2, which is just a fancy way of saying steel. <laughs> That's what these are for, is steel. ER70S, it's for steel. So this is, this is 1 16th, this is 332nd, this is eighth inch in diameter. And those are the three most common sizes that I use for when I'm doing any kind of steel TIG welding. But you also have, um, here's some ER308. What the heck is that? So this is stainless rod, and this is, uh, this looks about like an eighth inch in diameter for all of your stainless work. So the, the uh, ER308, remember that number for stainless. It's just as easy when you go to your local welding store, just tell the guy behind the counter, hey look, I'm welding some steel, I'm welding aluminum, I'm welding stainless, you know. They'll know what the right filler rod is for what you're doing. You get higher up in your experience level, you know, you're doing this professionally, you're gonna know the difference yourself. You're gonna know, well, I want this very particular rod for, you know, filler rod for this very particular type of steel that I'm working with or type of stainless, you know. You're gonna use a different type of stainless for like food grade stainless. If you're working in a restaurant, you're building you know, something that food is going to be on, that's a different rod. You know, if you're, if you're making you know, bulletproof armor, well, you're not going to use this kind of rod. It's a different rod. Lots of them out there, so you got to do your research. So is there like a starter kit? You know, is there something that every beginner TIG welder should get to go with your brand new TIG welder so you can sit and play? Well, sure, yeah. Get some of the ER70S, you know, some of the steel rod. You know, whether you're gonna get the, you know, the 1 16th or the 3 32nd or the, you know, the big honk and eighth inch, that all depends on you and what you're gonna be playing with. You know, the 16th, 3 32nd, great starters. You know, you can do lots of different things with them. The, um, the 4043 aluminum if you're gonna play with any aluminum at all. Of course, totally different process as far as the, you know, the welding. You know, steel welding, aluminum welding, very, very different from one another. Both fun, both easy to learn, but they're different. So if you're gonna play with aluminum, get some 4043 to go with that ER70S. Yes. Stainless, you know, the, uh, the ER308, I only keep a little pack of it around because I just don't do that much stainless work. Now, what does it cost you know, to buy a package? You know, buy a box, buy a tube, you know, buy a little, little tiny one pound pack? Well, the 4043 aluminum in a 10 pound box of 332nd diameter, that's $61. The 332nd five pound tube of the ER70S for steel, that one is $21 big jump. The stainless, a little one pound pack of stainless of 332nd is 
big, big cost right there. You know, something to keep in mind if you're going to be playing with a lot of stainless. The rod really is going to get you in the wallet. Now, where do you get them? You know, you can go to your local welding, sto uh, welding store. You know, right here in Phoenix, we have a company called Praxair. We have another one called um, Airgas or U.S. Weld. Uh, we have Phoenix Welding. You know, just look in your phone book, look online, local welding supply. That'll show you where all your brick and mortar stores are. Of course, you can buy them right off of Amazon. You can buy them off of any of the welding supply websites. I like weld.com. They've got their own store. You can buy your own filler rod right there. Very helpful folk on the other end of the phone. You know, if you're not quite sure what you need, phone number's right there. You call them up. Hey, this is what I'm doing. What do you recommend? Shows up at your door a couple of days later. So speaking of showing up at my door, I see work coming in. So I'm going to go take care of that. You guys are going to come out to Facebook. Check me out out there. Watch me, you know, friend me out there. Keep track of what I'm doing. And don't forget to come out to weld.com because I'm there on that website quite often. So we've got our own forum. We can answer questions. Lots of helpful guys out there help you get started, help coach you along, help make you a better welder. And I hope a pretty good person too. So I'll see you all next time.